Tonight, the man who led the government's race to a vaccine is blowing the whistle and calling for an investigation. Rick Bright says he was removed from his job after pressing for rigorous vetting for a drug embraced by President Trump as a miracle treatment. Bright said science must always trump politics. It's all unfolding late tonight, and CBS's Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula? Nora, CBS News has learned that this key official who spent his entire career on vaccine development was pushing for more rigorous testing of these treatments endorsed by President Trump right before he was pushed out of his position. The explosive charge came from Rick Bright, who said he was dismissed yesterday after pushing for a more thorough vetting of hydroxychloroquine, a malaria drug the president has pushed as a possible breakthrough for coronavirus. Bright said the administration has pressured me and other conscientious scientists to fund companies with political connections, as well as efforts that lack scientific merit. He added that sidelining me in the middle of this pandemic and placing politics and cronyism ahead of science puts lives at risk. The president has touted the promise of hydroxychloroquine many times, despite questions raised previously by many other health officials about its effectiveness. Based on what I see, it could be a game changer. As the president praised states who are moving to reopen their economies, new modeling used by the White House now predicts nearly 66,000 could die by August, a significant increase from what the president claimed earlier this week. It looks like we'll be at about a 60,000 mark. The president's own CDC director, Robert Redfield, warned a second wave of the virus that could coincide with the opening of flu season this fall will actually be even more difficult than the one we just went through. Mr. Trump said Redfield had been misquoted. I didn't say that this was going to be worse. I said it was going to be more complicated or more difficult and potentially complicated because we'll have flu and coronavirus circulating at the same time. But epidemiologists agree that a second wave is possible and that it could overwhelm the healthcare system. If we have an overlap uh, of COVID patients, a rise in COVID patients at the same time we have a rise in flu season, that could be difficult for hospitals to manage. Tonight, Dr. Redfield confirmed that quote he gave to the Washington Post was accurate. Meanwhile, Dr. Bright is calling for an inspector general investigation to examine whether this administration is politicizing scientific research. Nora. All right, Paula, thanks for that report.